This one was also a journey. So uh, this is the California fan palm. I've uh, illustrated this many times. It's, it's actually the Mexican fan, fan palm, but it is native to, to California, the only native palm in California. And mostly we see them um, without all this shag, and they've all been pruned. That's the way they, because these are kind of a, a nuisance, and on a street they go flying off in winds. And, but if you can get into a rural area away from the beach, uh, you can sometimes find them with the shag all the way going to the ground. No one's pruned them. Um, and I just love that shape. I love the, the shape of the palm tree that has all the, the skirt or the shag on it. It's a very um, sort of majestic, columnar, strong form that I really enjoy. And, and that's why the pot is in the same, same kind of form. Um, but this one I found hard, it, difficult to find. I like to work from nature if I can or take my own pictures. Um, so I was looking for a group of palm trees. I was looking all over, you know, while I drove, drove around to see if I could see a, find a group that were like this. And um, I finally found a group, and they were right at the exit where I get off to, to teach at West Campus. And uh, I could just be, I could see them, and they but they were all in a private area that was all fenced off, so I couldn't really figure out how to get to them. But eventually, I decided I would. Uh, park my car somewhere and then walk to the off-ramp and I thought maybe I could climb down in, down the hill into this area to get a closer shot of them. And there's a homeless community down there. I really didn't get too close to take the pictures because I was worried about the homeless community thinking that um, I was taking pictures of them or going to get them in trouble. But um, it was such a beautiful, kind of inspiring sight to see this community. I mean, I have this strong image of of a, a woman sitting in a tent with the sun coming in, reading her book, and she had a rack of clothes under cover um, with a canopy over it, you know. She was really had a nice setup, but it was more of a gypsy look. And then looking down the row of homeless tents, you know, it was not what you think of with the kind of trash everywhere. It was a really well-organized little group. Um, and there was a communal area with four sofas facing each other. Um, it was just quite nice to see, and I, I wish them well, but unfortunately, a couple weeks later, Caltrans cut down a hedge that obscured the view. A couple weeks after that, the whole place was bulldozed. So I feel I worry for what happened to those people, but maybe there were some of the newly homeless Anyway, that was the adventure this took pot, pot took me on.